Welcome everyone to Thursday, January 21st, 2021. Well, as we go into the last couple of days of this week and into the weekend, this is what we're watching for you. First of all, the winds are gonna be easing. Winds are gonna be not as strong across the region today. Still pretty gusty, but they're winding down. Unsettled weather's coming starting tonight and tomorrow into the weekend and all of next week. We see several Pacific weather systems coming through this weekend and next week. Now, there's not one big storm, but lots of several small, medium-sized storms. So it's going to be kind of a smorgasbord of weather coming our way with one system here, another one there, but not one of these looks like it'll turn into that one big storm. But lots of little systems over time are going to add up to help out the snowpack and bring us a colder, more unsettled pattern as we go into the last days of January. The mountains and areas west of the Continental Divide are going to be most favored for the snow. It's still going to be hard to get any significant snow on the plains east of the Divide, but there'll be a little bit. Colder weather's coming, not severe cold, but it is going to be trending gradually colder, especially by the middle of next week. We're still not looking at any bitterly, bitty, bitterly cold Arctic air, but certainly colder than it's been by early to mid next week. Today, the jet stream pattern is favoring this westerly flow, keeping us in a somewhat mild Pacific pattern. This little guy right here is going to be sliding down the coast and heading on into California over the next 24 to 48 hours, while this one comes up and gets absorbed by the jet stream wind. As we go further down the road, this is for Saturday morning. We've got a double barreled low here over the Great Basin and into California. California is going to get some much needed rain, Sierra snow coming our way, and there will be moisture from the system coming out out ahead of it. Tonight and into Friday, they'll be developing mountain snow in the mountains of Colorado and Wyoming. A bit of a cold front also comes in right here with this system to bring a little bit of upslope. So increasingly cloudy skies and cooler temperatures will be forming east of the divide. While west of the Continental Divide here, it's going to be getting wet and unsettled. This is by Sunday afternoon. Part of that same storm that I just showed you ejects out as a little low and heads out into the plain states. Then we've got more energy coming in on the backside of this low, and this is going to cause basically this basic pattern of the trough in the west to maintain itself. When you get a high in the southeastern United States and you get a trough setting up right here, the pattern tends to hold for a while. So the jet stream is going to continue to ride up into the Gulf of Alaska, drive south into the western United States and keep us unsettled. This is for Wednesday with a little bit of low in Colorado, another low coming in behind it, and more upstream. So the systems are gonna keep coming, and we still see this high pressure in the southeastern United States. So most of the action, weather-wise, across the nation will be in the west and the northern tier of the USA. That's where most of the wintry weather is going to be. So things are gonna be picking up weather-wise, for sure, starting this weekend and in the next week. This is the snowfall forecast. This is through Monday morning. So this is between now and Monday. And you can see we start to get a little bit of snow on the plains here. Not a lot, but a little bit. All the purple, the darker colors, the heavier snowfall definitely showing up into the mountains and areas west of the divide. Some really good news for this part of the country right here that's been really, really dry. Their mountains are going to finally see some decent snow, and we're also going to see some snow in the central mountains of Colorado and parts of Wyoming in this weather pattern. As we go into next week, we talked about that colder weather. This is for next Tuesday. You can see that a large part of the west, lots of green here, lots of purple, lots of white. Now, these are temperatures that are certainly cold, not record-breaking cold, not brutally cold, but when you start to be 10, 15 degrees below average with your high temperatures, well, you're pretty cold. So uh, do be ready for a bit more in the way of winter coming on up. Have yourself a great Thursday. We'll talk to you on Friday.